Hey brothers, good morning. Uh, this is the preacher man here. Uh, it's 7.45 in the morning, uh, February 23rd, 2015. And what brings me to do this video is that I wanted to share the love of God and what the love of God is. And um, I wanted to share this because it's very important for you to know how much God really loves you loves me loves us okay even you know the bible says that it rains on the just and on the unjust god loves all people and all creation he made everything um i wanted to quote something that i read a long time ago it was by a philosopher and a poet his name is dante alieri he was born in florence italy in the year 1265 and Dante wrote uh, in his book, The Divine Comedy, there's a quote there that I'll never forget because it was very interesting for the fact that it spoke about heaven. And Dante Alighieri had a transcendent experience into another realm. And the Bible talks about that Jesus Christ, God created worlds, where an uh, S at the end, which is plural, it's more than one. And he created different spheres, and he created, he said, in my father's house are many mansions. Um, Dante Alighieri had a transcendent experience where he entered the realm of heaven, and he saw a spiritual being, right? And uh, in heaven, the happier you are, the closer to, to God you are, the more you glow and the brighter you are because God is light. But Dante approached this being, and she was a woman, that she walked the earth and everything, and she passed away just like all human beings, and she was in heaven. Dante approached her and asked her, my fair lady, wouldn't it be nicer for you, or wouldn't you be more happy to be in another sphere that is closer to God? And she looked at Dante, and she said, O oh, senseless cares of mortals, how deceiving are syllogistic reasonings which bring your wings to flight so low to earthly things. I'm going to break that down real fast. How deceiving, O oh, senseless cares of mortals, we are mortals because we die and we pass on to a different realm, but our spirit is eternal. And oh, everything that we worry about is senseless because everything is only temporary and we pass away and this is a, we're on a journey heading home, whether our eternal life would be with God in heaven or whether we accept Christ or not, we'll end up either in hell when we go to judgment or in heaven. But she said, oh senseless cares of mortals, how deceiving, deceitful are syllogistic reasonings. Deceitful, syllogistic means territorial, and materialistic things that we worry about on a daily basis, worried about what we're gonna wear, worried about how we're gonna pay our bills, worried about, you know, our, our, our car, or everything that is material is deceitful because it's all senseless cares of mortals. How deceiving our syllogistic reasonings, because we reason all the time about these things and we worry. So how deceiving are syllogistic reasonings that bring your wings to flight so low to earthly things. In the Bible, in the, the book of Colossians, uh, chapter 3, chapter 3, it speaks about to keep your eyes focused on God, which is in heaven, and not on things on the earth. Because we are dead and our life is hidden with Christ Jesus, and when he appears in glory, that we will appear with him in our glorified uh, state and of who we really are in Christ. So we worry all the time about material things and everything, and they're so deceitful that they bring your wings to flight so low to earthly things. But the woman told him, she said that, she said, the love of God is so powerful, powerful that, that, God placed me in this realm, and I don't worry about nothing else because his love is so powerful that it appeases what I always long for. And if I were to want to be in a closer realm to God, 
then I would be going against his will for my life. And, it, and I'm just happy that I'm in heaven and his love is so powerful that it appeases everything that I ever wanted. Because God's love is so powerful that it gives you joy, it gives you peace, it gives you satisfaction, and you just feel great, you know? Joy is peace dancing and peace is joy resting, my brothers and sisters, okay? So with that, I wanted to share, right, that the love of God is so, but God loves us so much that when we come to him and we accept him and we start serving him, when we turn our backs on him, it really, God doesn't, that hurts God. Because God don't want nobody to be getting lost and doing things that are just inappropriate, things that don't please him. You know, obedience is better than sacrifice. Um, so with that, I wanted to share that, you know, it's like um, God will, this is an example. God will give you a woman or a man and open your heart so that you can love this person or this man. And then you will love this person so much and then you get used to having this person in your life all the time. And then what happens is this person God, God will harden their heart and they will turn their back on you and all you do, you heartbroken, it hurts and it, people cry, you feel sad when somebody that you love walks away on you. So God will give you a wife and make you love her with all your heart and then she'll turn her back on you and you will be heartbroken. That's the same way God feels when you turn your back on him. God loves you so much. He don't want you to leave him. You know, just like you got a person that you love so much, think about it. You could have a son, a husband, a wife, or your best friend. And you don't want them to turn their back on you. You will miss them. You, have their, you know, so God wants you to stay faithful to him. He, he doesn't want you to turn your back on him. It hurts when somebody turns their back on you. So I wanted to share also another thing about some people when they talk to you, not everybody is for you. Some people are for what you are for. Other people are just, they believe in what you believe, but they're not for you. So there's a lot of different kind of personalities that you'll come through in life and that you will meet. So the Bible talks about having your conversation in the book of Hebrews chapter 13. It talks about having your conversation without covetousness. Covetousness is when you covet something that somebody else has. Do, thou shall not covet thy neighbor's wife. Or if you got a car or something that I envy you, like, oh, man, I, I, that's covetousness. You're coveting something that somebody else has. And some people will come up to you and they want to be your friend just because they want something that you have. They're not your friends to be your friends. They're your friends and have conversation with you, but it's about covetousness. So the Bible talks right here in the book of Hebrews chapter 13 to let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So if you have your conversation with a person, be real in your heart. Don't go being somebody's friend just because you desire something that they have. You know, because God is your portion. God is so powerful and his love is so powerful that it draws, you draw, God will bless your life. You don't need nothing from nobody. Everything that you have came from somebody and God used that person to give it to you. The Bible says it raises on the just and on the unjust. Okay? No deje que se pase de diez minutos, okay? So, I just wanted to share that with you, man, because God is so powerful so powerful that, you know, the Bible talks about the portion. God is our portion. And the Bible also talks about in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, to have to godliness with, cont godliness with, with uh, contentment is great gain, you know. So be content with what God has given you. And the Bible also in, Ro in Romans chapter 8 talks about love. And that's what this video is about. It's about the love of God. The Bible says not heaven or hell, not heaven or hell or angels or anything will separate you from the love of God. 
It, it don't matter what you're doing. God died for you on the cross. He came and became incarnate and he died for you on the cross so that you can have eternal life and have it more abundantly. And, and come on, the Bible talks about the love of God like it, it, it talks about Jesus Christ. What better love is there 